FreeBSD 14.3 came out yesterday, 10th of June. That's good news. A new release. I'm running on my testbed 14.2. I thought we'd just run through the update and have a quick, uh, quick look at what's new. Okay, so we're going to run through the, the upgrade from point two to point three, fourteen point two to fourteen point three. Let's jump into my terminal. It's fairly straightforward, to be fair. And once we've done that, I want to just have a quick look at the upgrade notes and the change log just to see what's changed. I'm hoping that one big thing that has changed is Wi-Fi. Now I've heard a rumor that that's the case, so we'll check that out. Okay, so here's my terminal. Let's have a quick look at what we're on. We are on 14.2 release, and there's the checkout. It's on a generic kernel. So let's go ahead and start the upgrade. So the first thing we want to do is use FreeBSD update, and the first command is fetch. So that will get all the, the updates that are available. Right, what we actually want to do, let's clear that, we don't need that. What we want to do is free BSD update. Oh dear, until it's filming day. So we've done the fetch. Let's do the install, see what it does. It shouldn't take too long. There we go. <laughs> oh, of course you can't. There we go. So it's fetching 14.3. Here, yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 that looks reasonable. So it's going to install the following components. Generic kernel, source, world base, and lib32. Yep, that looks reasonable. Now, because what this does is set up a boot environment, it should be a minimal chance of it going wrong. And to, to check that out, I'm just going to jump into another session. There you go. So what it's doing is it's got two boot environments now so 14 release today's date and the default now we are booted into the default but as as a backup it's created the 14.2 release and the date that's good that's what we want let's go back to go back to the other terminal it's preparing to download the files we should have done that already by now i would have thought taking a while but that's all right Wait, hey, hey, it's done quite a bit there. That's a lot of patches. <laughs> there we go. So these are the changes that it wants to merge. Yes, that looks reasonable. And it's going to go through all the files that have changed, configuration files anyway, and just ask you if it looks reasonable. That's a lot of files. Zoom past all of this. P0. <laughs> there we go. So that's that bit done. What was it we last did update upgrade sorry so let's freebsd update install just doing another boot environment that's good please reboot so let's watch it reboot So there we go, we can see that it's already on 14.3. So that's good, but we're not finished yet because <laughs> we need to run FreeBSD update install one more time. So let's do that. By the way, for those of you asking, the LCARS on here is actually a YouTube video from System 47. Me who? Yeah, that's who they are. System 47. Check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Okay, so it's just installing updates again. Interesting. It's restarting SSHD. Okay, so that's that done. Now, sometimes you might get a message saying to run FreeBSD update install again. And that really is only needed if it tells you to do it. So we're not going to. So what I will do now is just do a packet upgrade.
there's two repositories there package repository and the kmods repository not really sure why i've got the kmods i don't remember doing that maybe that's part of the update i don't know i can't remember i didn't see that i don't think yeah it's scrolled off now so i'm not going to see that so what we can now do is reboot and we will be in our fully fledged 14.3 release so we'll wait for that all right interesting <laughs> it may be that zfs needs an update yeah i think that's what's happening there check that out one more time this is primarily the reason i like to check it and do my updates from source don't tend to get these kind of errors Yeah, actually, I've got a funny feeling my SSD just died. Could be wrong. I think that's what's happened. Anyway, so, <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly download the 14.3 release DVD, get that burnt, and then boot to it. Because I've got a funny feeling what's happened is that the, uh, I think the EFI petition has gone. That's what I think has happened. So we'll quickly do that. Now, I have done a video on this before, how to recover. Yeah, I think that's what's happened. Because not even the FreeBSD bootloader is there. Okay, that's that. Oh, wow, look at that. That's cool. Okay, so I'm just building my USB. <laughs> so unless my disk has actually failed, which I don't actually think it has, I think this is just a corrupted EFI petition, which we can repair quite easily once we got the disk up and, and running. Yeah, once we got that, quickly boot into it, repair it, and then move along. <laughs> you can always tell what kind of day it's going to be, can't you? Yeah, so that, that's what that is. System 47. I do have a, a website. Check it out. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link in the bottom. Loads of them. Loads of them. Enterprise G, E, D... Starbase, the whole lot, they, they got loads. I think they've even got a Stargate one, I'm sure I saw that. That might not have been them. So basically what we're going to do here, once we've booted to the live CD, is we're going to install the bootloader.efi into the EFI petition, which we're probably going to just recreate. So that's that done. Let me unplug that. Now, I recently updated the BIOS on this mini PC of mine. Hopefully it won't go into the diagnostics that I was trying to talk about before. Well, that's interesting, it's there now. <laughs> yeah, that, that diagnostic. That's what I was talking about. Let it boot on its own. Maybe this is the disc. So this is the disc that I repaired with a bit of solder. Maybe it hasn't repaired as well as I thought. Wait a minute, this might be the USB. To not get carried away. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Maybe it is a disc. I'm guessing it is. Where's my SSH shell? Let's re-log back in as root. Well, it's not asking for an update to Zebpool. Maybe I hadn't fixed it as well as I thought. I want to install something. Uh, something that doesn't really have a huge amount of dependencies. Smart one. That's a good call. There we go. That's what I want. So let's check it out, shall we? Just quickly, because i got a feeling it's just a disk now. Maybe. Oh, ADA zero. Oh, my bad. My bad. Oh, uh, about show. Only shows legacy smart information. Try it. So, I don't really care about that. Uh, it's hot. Shouldn't be that hot. Yeah, so this is clearly because of my disc. I think that's the reason we've been getting that error. <laughs> it's what you get for using a bit of a bad SSD. Still, the upgrade worked. Let's do a quick recap. FreeBSD update fetch. FreeBSD update install. And then FreeBSD update minus R 14.3 hyphen release. FreeBSD update install shut down minus r now to reboot freebsd update install again and if it tells you to do another freebsd update install 
once all of that is done reboot and you'll be into your system yeah see i didn't even create a, an all did i Okay, let's check out D message. I don't think it's going to show anything, to be honest. Nah. What it does show is that, interestingly, it still says 14.2 release. But it says 14.3 there. Okay, right. It's definitely 14.3. Okay, so that, w that was the upgrade procedure. <laughs> okay, right, so... The main highlights for FreeBSD 14.3 are 80211AC is now supported in the IWL Wi-Fi driver, which is found in many laptops. I don't know what driver my machine is using, so I don't even know if I can check that out. Yeah, I can't remember how to check that out, but I will do. OCI container images are now published in Docker and GitHub. LLVM and associated tools have been upgraded to 19.1.7. OpenSSH has been upgraded to 99p2. XZ has been upgraded to 581. And XPAT has been upgraded to 271. And of course, there are rel notes, hardware, and errata. Fix minus U flag of PS. Make minus O more versatile, predictable, predictable for PS. Yep. ZFS has been upgraded to 2.2 release, 2.2.7. Less has been updated. File has been updated. XPAT. TZ data has been updated. OpenSSL has been updated. Google Test has been updated from 114 to 115.2. Okay. Spleen has been updated. A few things have been deprecated, going to be. Public key stuffs have been deprecated. This uses DES and is likely that nobody uses that in 2025. Okay, so lots of updates. It's available on AMD64, i386, Arch64, ARMv7, PowerPC, PowerPC64, and RISC V64. And there are ISO images and disk memstick images and of course when it can be installed over the network so th there's plenty of stuff to go on oh didn't know you could do that google compute engine hmm and it will be supported until 30th of june 2026 14.2 will reach end of life 30th september 2025 now it's worth remembering okay so there we go that's uh FreeBSD up, update to 14.3 and it's running again. I, it, it's got to be that disc. It's got to be on its way out, which is ever so slightly annoying, but there we go. I'm going to leave it there and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, Discord has gone now, so you won't see the link in the videos anymore. But don't forget to comment, share, like, all the good stuff. It really helps me out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Why is it something always has to go wrong? <laughs>